Welcome, we are out here at the Hidden Valley Ski Resort. My name is Leanne Evans and I'm here with Mike Ratcliffe. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, we're enjoying a beautiful day out on the ski hill and you know, to get out on skis, what does it take? You know, you gotta start somewhere. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta make that commitment that you're actually gonna do it. You know, most people, they'll, they'll go 50-50. Well, I might, I might not. And they're not really sure what to expect, which forces them not to go. Um, I mean, what to expect is like any other sport that you're starting. It's quite tough at, at first, but the rewards are really, really worth it. And you are going to get a bit of a workout when you do it. That's always a plus. Now, what age groups, um, what age should people start skiing? There's no limit. Um, it's really down to the coordination. We start lessons at two years old for skiing and we group them in two to five year olds and then we also group six to twelve year olds for ski and snowboard lessons. So, and the reason for that is two to five year olds tend to have the coordination to be able to stand up and slide, so they just need more guidance than they do actual teaching strategies. But then with the older children, we play a lot of games with them, uh, a lot of little competitive strategies to make it a lot more fun for them because they tend to find that they have that coordination and you know, the cognitive abilities to actually go and do that. Okay, so if somebody is thinking about bringing their kids out here, it's always a good thing to sign them up for lessons. Absolutely. It doesn't matter what level they are, there's something that they can learn and there's something that they can improve on. Uh, we offer from beginner, that's our discover packages, and we offer development packages for any green, blue or black level skiers as well. And that's of all ages. All right, so when uh, the children aren't with their parents um, on the ski hill, um, should they have the lessons, you know, should they be accompanied with an adult at a certain age? I would certainly always recommend, you know your children better than I do, but I definitely recommend that anyone under the age of 12 should be accompanied by an adult, um, whether they're skiing by themselves or anywhere else. And it's definitely a good thing that if they're with a, in a lesson, you get your own free time. They're with an instructor in a safe environment and learning, you know, having some fun while they're doing it. All right. So can you show us a tip that for a beginner skier? One of the most common things that you see when the, you see beginner skiers on the slopes is there's a tendency to be a little bit afraid of what's in front of them and so they lean back. Now when we lean back, the only thing holding us up is actually the back of the ski boot and the back of the ski. We need to try and make sure that we're in a very natural position as if you were just standing on a stationary floor. And as the floor gets steeper, you have to actually go further forwards to stay on top of your feet. All right, so what should we do with our skis when we are going down the hill? The first thing that we'll ever teach anyone is, is the wedge or the snowplow. Or if you're a two to five year old, we call it the pizza. And then when you're parallel, we call it French fries. So we have this image of a triangle. And what we have to try and do is make that triangle either wider or smaller to help us to control our speed in a straight line. And that's the first thing that we get to. All right, so what should you be feeling on your skis and with your feet? I certainly like to make sure that when I'm, what I'm feeling is I'm feeling like I'm standing in the middle of my feet. Okay? And as I'm pushing my skis apart, I'm turning my skis towards each other at the same time. It's almost like doing two things at once. You know, us guys, we're not very good at multitasking, so it took a while for me to get it. But it's certainly an out and a twist rather than just pushing the back of the skis apart. Okay, perfect. So can you give us a little demonstration of what a beginner skier should be doing? Certainly can. So while we're standing here, the first thing that we're going to try and do is just stand up straight, let ourselves balance, and see if you can find, by rocking backwards and forwards just a little bit, the middle. So where do you feel? And once you feel the middle, just stop. Okay? Now make yourself six inches smaller. But don't change what you feel under your feet. Okay? So what we're trying to see now is I'm in a more athletic position and it's my shoulders over my knees, over my toes. Okay, and that's an important thing to remember, shoulders over knees, over yeah. toes. Right? And now I'm what we call centered. Okay. Okay. And then the next part of that would be as we're sliding is just trying to push the skis out and then turn them towards each other by twisting the legs. Okay. Okay. And it's much easier to show you that while we're sliding. All right, sounds good. Well, why don't you go ahead and I'll follow you down the hill. Okay. So I'm just going to point myself down and always before I go, I check to make sure no one's coming. And as soon as I start sliding, I'm going to push my feet out and then turn my skis in, but all at the same time. Okay. So I slide and then I push. Now, if we want to do a turn with this, do we put pressure on one more foot or how do we do that? 
that is definitely one way of doing it. Um, and it does work. Uh, it's not the most efficient way we do it. Okay. What we try and do now is we think about the same movement of twisting the ski to make a stop. But if we only twist one, we'll go in that direction. All right, so <laughs> can you give us a demonstration? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna twist this ski only across towards my left. I'm gonna make sure I'm not gonna ski into anyone's path. So I start sliding and then just twist the right ski only. And I make a turn. For more information about the Hidden Valley Ski Resort, you can visit their website at www.skihiddenvalley.net.